Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 13B notes on simple interest. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can use the simple interest formula to calculate principal, interest rate, amount of interest, and or length of loan. All right? Okay. Um, let's uh, have a little bit more fun with the webcam. And it is going to be, ooh, Alien Stansberry is going to talk to you with big head, wide eyes, and apparently no neck. There it is. All right, so let's take a look. Simple interest formula is I equals CRN, where I is the amount of interest, C is the principal amount, um, which is the amount that you borrowed, um, R is the rate, and then N, and that's as a decimal, and then N is the length of loan in years. Okay, so let's put this to use with example nine from page four, 27. Calculate simple interest on a $8,000 loan at 7% interest for 18 months. All right, so I equals C, R, and N. And these are all being multiplied together, okay? So we're trying to calculate the interest. So the interest is going to be C, which is the original amount. So that's 8,000 bucks times the rate, which is 7%, so that as a decimal is 0 0.07, and then times the number of years, not the number of months, but the number of years. So 18 months is one and a half years. All right, so let's use our calculator to figure that out. And we've got 8,000 times uh, 0 0.07 times a 1.5. All right, and that gives us 840. So the interest on the simple interest on this $8,000 loan at 7% for 18 months is $840. All right, let's take a look at another. For page four, one is how much is borrowed if a rate of 6.5% per annum results in an interest charge of $3,900 after five years, okay? So, again, we're gonna start with I equals C, R, N, okay? And now we're looking for how much is borrowed, so we're looking for the C on this one here. So, um, we have 6.58 then, so we're, look, we're looking for C, so we know we're gonna just leave that. And we have 0. Point that's times 0 0.65, that's your percent, for five years, right? There's your five years, and your interest after those five years is $3,900. So now we're going to try to figure out what the C is. Okay, so 3,900 equals, let's see, let's figure out what uh, 0 0.065 times 5 is 0 0.065 times 5 gives us 0 0.325. So this is 0 0.325C. So to figure out what C is, again, just good old algebra. We're going to divide both sides by 0, 0.0, oops, not 0, 0 0.325. 0 0.325, both sides. So those simplify, reduce down to 1. And our C is going to be the original, our um, original investment or our original, how much we borrowed. So we're going to take 3,900 and divide by 0.325, or in this case, we just do second answer because that's what we just had from before. And we get, oops, I was supposed to do 3,900. Let's try that again. 3,900 divided by 0.325. And we get 12,000. Okay, not 12,008, but 12,000. So your original, the original amount borrowed was, should be 12,000. All right, we are gonna take a little break here and watch a little video. Why? Because we can, all right, so. Question, what kind of bear is death? It's a ridiculous question. False, black bear. Well, that's debatable. There are basically two schools of thought. Fact. Bears eat beets. Bears. Beets. That'll start to lack to go. Bears do not. 
What is going on? What are you doing? Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! Sorry, I just had to just kind of, you know, have a little fun here once in a while. So, um, let's get back to it. We have one last thing, and that is um, periodic repayment. Okay, periodic repayment is making numerous payments to repay a loan. Um, a very uh, common periodic repayment interest um, example for that is a car loan. Okay, so um, the way you figure out a periodic repayment is you take the principal, which is your original investment, add the interest, and then divide by the number of repayments, and that'll tell you what your um, periodic repayment loan uh, payment is. All right, so let's calculate the monthly repayment on repayments on a loan of seven thousand dollars at eight point five percent per annum, simple interest over four years. Okay. So that's a fairly typical like used car loan um, idea here. All right, so let's start with our I equals C, R, N to figure out what the interest is because we have to take the principal, add the interest in, and then divide by the total number of payments, okay? So interest in this rate, in this case, sorry, is gonna be C stands for $7,000. The rate is 8.5, so it's 0 0.085. And then the number of, sorry, the, the years is four. All right, so let's use our calculator to figure that out. We take 7,000 times 0 0.085 times four. And that gives us 2380. All right, so that's the interest that's gonna that you're gonna accrue using with your seven thousand dollar loan over four years. So, to figure out the repayments, so uh, periodic repayment. is going to be seven thousand dollars. That's the principal plus the interest, which is twenty three. 80 and we're going to take that and divide that by the total repayments now it's four years and it's monthly repayments so you got to do four times 12 which would give us 48 okay and then this should give us our monthly repayments so let's figure out what that is so let's take 7,000 plus 2380 and that gives us 9380. So the 9380 is your total amount of money that you're going to have to repay. And you have to repay that over 48 months. So we take divide that answer by 48 and we get 195 195.42 dollars per month. That's your periodic repayment. All right. If you have any questions please feel free to ask um, Alien Stansbury here. Uh, you should now be able to say that you can use simple interest formula to calculate principal, interest rate, amount of interest, and or length of loan. All right, so. That's kind of fun. Um, anyway, have you, uh, if you have questions, please ask. Thanks.